back my guys, Pillock here, and welcome back to West of Loathing. Hopefully this time things will be a bit better, because they'll be more chilled and stuff. Got different music this time. You got to hear a different part of this epic. Oh yeah, I remembered a few things since last time. More than a few things, but one or two that are important. I want to thank Ash and Renegade, okay? Because he or she inspired me a lot to play this game. It was literally the only time I'd seen it played and I was like, I want to play that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean any insult, but he or she, I just can't remember. Because it's a female avatar, but I think it's a dude. But maybe it's two people. I don't know. Thank you, okay? I'll leave a link in below. Send hugs. But yeah, let's continue. Let's see what we can do. Hope you guys are good. We're gonna find the door for this mong, right? Because he's practicing his chair tipping, which is, in all fairness, a noble art. I can't do that because I'd hurt myself. Oh, who's this guy? Step right up. Step right up. Breads the name and trends the game. Wow. That was a pretty good line you got there. You seriously doubt that his name is Brit? I don't! I believe him entirely! Probably because I'm a gullible moron, but whatever. Hi, the bread! What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. What? I don't understand that. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to the adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Also, stuff we gotta find and then we trade. Right, requires dickering. I think Dick Kickery should have some dickering, if you know what I mean. Let's trade right now, thanks. No, let's not trade. Did I read that wrong already? Good job! What's this place? Get lost. Already out of nowhere. <gasps> A cunning disguise, but I see you. You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Hi, the cactus man. I like the way he's just so like open to this stuff. You're very tolerant, mate. Hi to yourself, and the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you then, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer, and it turned me into a cactus. I don't think that's real, don't worry. Doc Alice warned me this could happen, but I didn't listen, and that's why they call you Cactus Bill. No, that's just a coincidence. Does it hurt? Was what hurt? You know, being a cactus man. Well, the spikes on the outside, aren't they? Well, maybe there's spikes in his soul as well. He's all rendered up. Oh, ha! That's actually quite nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of me keeps me getting pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it is a mite boring. The hell, man? I'm so lost! I bet, yeah. Wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. <gasps> oh, okay. You don't happen to have a newspaper on you. We do! We picked it up! Cause we're smart! Here's the newspaper, buddy! Yeah! Much obliged, partner! Let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know! My shovel! What well, about your shovel? I left it behind outside the outhouse. An outhouse is a toilet. This shovel's not gonna be good, is it? At Oral Mine! <gasps> a new location! Hell yes! It's yours if you go and get it! I'm sure you'll find a use for it. I'm sure we will! Can we not turn him back into a cactus- uh, like a non-cactus person, I mean? Gain 3 XP! Yeehaw! Skill up! Muscle too! Thanks, buddy! Behind the eye to the ice at Orhole Mine. Got it, thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now, if you could just kinda stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Stick the newspaper to him! <laughs> that was mental and brilliant! Topeka! How do we go other places? Oh, maybe through here. The Frecker Gang's hideout. Can we fast travel? Is that meat? Oh, no, it's a trademark thing. Cause the course is. Can we travel here? Oh, we can! Oh! You're sleeping on the job! You're not much good at this. Hello, oh, Thud Fricker! The Fricker Gang's intrepid lookout appears to be taking a nap. I can't just shoot him, that's not nice! Let's wake him up. You poke Thud with your boot. He slowly gets to his feet. Hi! You're not supposed to be here! Well, tough titties, mate, cause we friggin' are. Thud is, well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar. If we assume that in seven years from now, and that idiom makes sense, I don't know what idiom is, so you lost me already. You feel kind of bad about the idea of killing him. Exactly! And look at that, poor wee man, his beard's migrated up his face. Walk away, Thud. It won't end well. We're a kai puncher. Thud, you don't want this life. Take a hike. Okay, you're probably right. You go become a scholar. Thud stumbles off into the desert. I'll probably be fine. <gasps> we got an honorable perk! You've got a strong moral compass and an accurate ethical protractor. Isn't the protractor one of those things you use in mass? Don't know, don't ask. Honorable options will be available. <gasps> Sweet! So it's like Fallout before it got crap. Wow. Among the pines and stuff, I think. What's this? It's a pile of random stuff the Fricker Gang stole. Should we, if we take that, are we taking it, you know? That's a beer cactus barrel. Beer barrel cactus. 
What's the difference? Why has it got a handle? I don't know, but I love this game. Should we take this? Uh, yeah. You got a, oh, recovered mugs. You hand those in at the bar, remember, for like a reward. A pair of silver cufflinks. Swag! Can we put those on? Ugh. Hmm. If you wore fancy your shirts, you might have some useful ways. I'm sorry! I don't have any clothes! It's not my fault. Are those rocks or skulls? Depending on which, it could be quite morbid here. Come inside. I love the music in this. The Fricker Gang's hideout. Inside. Oh. Hello, sir. Hmm. Can you pass the soap? No, let's tie him up. Am I, am I drawing if we tie him up? He's in the bath. These things can be dangerous. Hazards of the home. I don't know. This is a deep moral question. Don't laugh at me. <sighs> tie him up. It'll get all kinky and stuff. But hopefully it'll be safe. If you drown, I'm gonna be pissed. You grab a nearby length of rope, which he has nearby for some reason, and carefully tie his hands. Oh, so he can keep his soap on a rope right. And carefully tie his hands together, and then to the handles of the tub. He can't drown that way, he's like held up, right? The sheriff can come collect him later. Yes! That sleeping band is like, oh, they're not sleeping. Can we creep? <sighs> Let's just introduce ourselves. You cautiously approach the Fricker gang. Don't need much caution so far, honestly. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. Told ya! You hide behind a barrel, and eavesdrops on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe, and that the squirrely one is his brother, Wimpy. His mum must really hate him. What's your play here? Huh. Approach him and talk. Hi, the boys! Tell me in! We'll play them for the door! That's so smart! The one without the eye patch raises an eye at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Bob and Soapy? What do you want? <sighs> if we do that, they'll have to open fire on us. If we play it smart and just go for what we want, that's all we're here for, okay? We want the door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell! <gasps> it's on, Matt! He draws his gun. Prepare to die. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. I don't know how to fight, really. Uh, shoot him? Yeah. Can we, like... Oh, there's a barrel in the way. Maybe we gotta, like, move, like, upwards. I just whack him. Punch him. Yeah, with uh, this. Can we do that? I don't know how. Oh, there we go. Whack him. Good job. Screw guns. Ow! What? That's not fair. I guess we're gonna die, then. At least they were kind enough to drag you outside after they beat you unconscious. Yup. Press 1 to yup. I like this game more all the time. How'd I do this then? Let's just try this one, maybe it works. You're under arrest, boys. I'm taking you in, in the name of justice. Oh yeah, but you in what army? Actually, I'll get back to you on that. Oh, crap, we need intimidating. Yeah, I'll get back to you, mate. I hear of 2 4 unseen other member of the Fricker Gang sneaks up behind you. Crap! Why are these guys so smart? Why am I so dumb? This is hard! Shut up, we'll try again. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to just try the combat and try not to like lose this time. But I don't know how. I'm so new to this. Uh, okay, let's use our fists on him. No, but then we're out of cover. I wish we'd use our gun on him. Can we do that? But she's not. Oh, <gasps> so smart! Get sniped, mate. Why'd you shoot the ceiling, you tit? You shouldn't again. Bam! And we can wear away the barrel. Ah! Uh, I don't know though. Just shoot him again. Oh no, you shoot around it, but he's a better shot. Maybe nice chums down. We can punch him. Slap him, mate. Oh, we can! And then the barrel protect us, right? Yes! I'm getting better. I'm learning things. I did try to let them off, okay? I'm sorry, guys. Yes! We won. Got some XP. We're at level two. What does that do? The leaders of the Fricker Gang are dead by your hand. I didn't mean to kill them. I'm sorry. They weren't that bad. Sheriff will be proud of you. My mum won't, though. Yeah, it sounds the same thing as I was thinking. Was this game made by people like me for me? Probably. Time to recover the door. I didn't want to kill them. Is there not another option? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta be it. And what's this? It's ill-gotten gains. Let's ill-gotten gain them. Yeah. 50 meat. That's pretty good. Well, that's like riches for us. That's a door. Sling it over your shoulder. Because I'm sure it doesn't weigh like three tons. A mug on the table. There's loads of these, like we collectibles. That's pretty cool. Please don't drown, okay? 
or I will cry myself to sleep. Let's get the door back, though. First mission accomplished. Kai Puncher extraordinaire. Here's your door, mate. I see the Fricker gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? Indeed we did. He's alive and well. You hand the sheriff his door, and he hangs it back on his hinges. I friggin' love the writing in this. It's so crazy, but it's wonderful. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Indeed it did. Are there any Fricker boys left for me to round up? At least two. One or two that sleep on the job. I will round them up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward. Did you do? 400 meat. Whoa! Got another little task for you. Are you gonna be like Preston? Have you got the time? Yeah, we do. Should be a lot simpler than last one. What you need? Well, the frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Come on, man! He's gonna need a new one. I know where he can get one from the trader. We gotta have things to trade him for the lock. I'll keep an eye out, alright? No, no, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you, game. Did we get something while we were there we can trade? I'm not sure. Heidi, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We'll have soap or decorin. Alright, we'll do that later when we find those things. Where else can we go then? Hmm, what's on the map? Uh, nothing. Oh, my man to do then. Maybe we could just go like off the screen, right? Oh, the cactus guy. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, nope. You're not allowed at Topeka anymore, remember? Why? What I do? I don't understand. You and your bigotry. So what am I meant to do then? Is there maybe something bar we can do? <gasps> yeah, Pete! We didn't do that, right? What do you say, Pete? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, fire schlag in our machines. Can't trust them no more in a dirty scallywag. Uh, aha, uh -huh, yeah. Pete takes a swig of his wick's whiskey. See you later. Oh, it was a dead end. Maybe the barkeep's got something we can do. I done. You tap your hat to the bar, did <gasps> I found these mugs. Yeah, so we got some more money. We've nearly got enough to get a horse now. Just thought I'd say hi, D. The bartender smiles. Well then, mission accomplished, I reckon. Oh, that was a hard one. The only thing we haven't done is play poker. Maybe I gotta do that. Yeah, they're playing poker. Can I play? They look at you nervously. We're very scary. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. Yeah, put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens plus a two, a three and a king. I don't know what that means. Be aggressive, yeah, with passion. I'll bet 15 meat. They look at each other nervously, but they both call your bet. Okay, read them and weep. You yeah, show your pair of tens plus three king. The guy on the left has a full house. Sure, that's a good thing. Two jacks and three aces. I'm the guy on the right, somehow I got a straight flush. I win. Yay. Oh, <gasps> we did. You explain that jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points. I'm the guy on the right's 20 and you're 25, plus the king. They squint at the rules again, but eventually shrug and nod at you. Are we pecking on them? That's not nice, dude! You collect your winnings and stand up. The guys thank you for helping them learn the game. <laughs> that was worse than losing! Also, what am I meant to do? Nobody's got anything good for us. She won't talk to us. He doesn't have anything. They were the piano man. Hello! Why should we leave him alone? I want to talk to him. I don't know what I'm meant to do anymore. I'm totally lost. So I think I'm going to leave it here, okay? Because unfortunately, I'm out of time. I really hope there's enough here to make a good video. Let you guys have some fun. Let's skip for a little while. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Because it really helps, okay? And take care of yourselves, okay? And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully. Bye!